Hello, my name is Alberto Malmierca. It is with pleasure that I greet you all from the Environment Statistics and Climate Change Unit in the Statistics Division of the Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean, ECLAC. In the following video, I will make an introduction to certain basic concepts about statistical measurement procedures and to begin with, it should be noted that in any statistical measurement process it is essential to start from certain questions, referring to the phenomena that are required to be investigated, whether they are from the socio-demographic domain, economic domain, or, as in the case that concerns us in this course, of the environmental domain, domain that we all know is complex, multidisciplinary whose statistical approach involves considering both biophysical, socioeconomic and institutional aspect on the basis of different sources, methodologies for collecting and preparing information that are of a diverse nature from different institutes, institutions that are not always articulated and interrelated, hence it's necessary to start from some central question in order to guide and conduct the processes of statistical measurement. The question then becomes, what and how to measure? What environmental aspect do we want to measure as a starting point? We want to measure the, the situation, the state, and changes about something. In this online training, we focus on environmental trend, climate change, and disaster occurrence and impacts. We can talk about the total annual rainfall, the area covered by forests, the extension of glaciers, among others. We need to establish a basis line so we can study these changes, specifically the temporal and spatial dimension. Is a, a, a regional? Uh, is a country analysis? Is for a specific year? Uh, is an evolution, like a time series? And this will allow us to monitor and evaluate the different dynamics related to these topics. Like, for instance, occurrence, impact, mitigation and adaptation. What is happening? What has changed? and obviously try to intervene through some enforcement actions, programs like initiatives and regulation that reduce vulnerability. It is important to measure the capacity of an ecosystem to absorb impact without significantly altering its structural and functional characteristics, being able to return to its original state after the impact factor has ended. Following the same example, we can measure the occurrence of the disaster or the damages and losses caused by this disaster. But we need to have a risk and disaster management cycle to be able to respond or recover us uh, because it's an external shock. So it's important to reduce our exposure. That's why we need a cycle analysis to ensure the preparation and administration to achieve some positive results. We need to answer the question of what proportion correspond to the intervention we want to measure. Then, synthesizing whether we try to measure the state, dynamic or impact of intervention, referring to the environmental dimension, we need to define and specify the scope of such measurement. Those, we need to answer the same question, what we want to measure. However, the next question is how to measure. Produce systematic and temporally and special comparable official statistics or indicators implies having a series of requirements and the implementation of statistical methodologies and techniques. Regarding the situation of environment statistics in the Latin America and the Caribbean region, I must mention that we are navigating the third wave of statistical development, within which environment statistics and indicators are in full development through the construction of metrics that describe the state the main environmental trends and their relationship with the uh, complex social and economic dynamics. That is why we need to produce a special temporal comparable statistical series and indicators. The multidisciplinary nature of environmental issues demands the articulation of technical capacities from different specific disciplines, to mention a few, biology, hydrology, meteorology, geography, agronomy, economics, sociology, uh, anthropology, etc. Together with a, a specialist in techniques and knowledge in statistical and computer science. How is such articulation achieved? It is obtained through training and intra- and interinstitutional cooperation, together with technical assistance and support from specialized regional or global organizations. 
of this production of information must necessarily be updated and disseminated periodically, accessible to users in friendly formats, sustainable over time for which it's essential to have strong political support and sufficient resources to guarantee and sustain an adequate institutionality of the area responsible for the production of environment statistics. Hopefully, uh, and it's desirable uh, that they have the same uh, hierarchical level in the organization charts as the area destined to the elaboration of sociodemographic and economic data. We know that transforming data into statistics means the implementation of successive steps, the application of statistical processing operation together with the specific knowledge of the environmental topic under study. And we will see this uh, later on in this course. As I mentioned previously, this necessarily implies starting from the identification and dissemination of the variables to be considered, and from the statistical unit of reference, define what is inside and what is outside the circle, the borders that remain inside and that are outside, for example, of the definition of forest, which we uh, include and do not include in the definition of land of the certification, deforestation, disaster, protected area, renewable energy, clean energy, categories of land use, access to the population to sanitation, uh, supply of drinking water, human solid waste to mention just a few. These are concepts that is necessary to articulate with a statistical classification and international standards to later identify the data sources, make explicit the methodology of surveys and calculation used together with an exhaustive description of the metadata through the elaboration of methodological sheets or technical sheets. Those, not all sources are suitable to measure certain variables. Therefore, we must be very careful in the selection of these sources so that uh, they really take into account the phenomenon uh, we want to measure. Generally, statistics do not include or study the exception. That is why we define what we want in advance. To conclude, during the course we will de deepen knowledge about different aspects of the production of environment statistics and we will better understand what we have called the virtuous circle of production of data, statistics, indicators and environmental accounts. This is a cycle that is composed of milestones, each of which represents some type of statistical information with characteristics of production, dissemination and uses of its own and specific. Well, I appreciate your attention and I hope that this knowledge will be the basis for the deepening that will be done during this online course. Thank you uh, so much and take care all of you.